Well, hello everyone, it's me, Christine, again. And I'm so excited to finally tell you that my feline children, Menchie and Xyler, finally have their own Hollow Taco nail polish. These polishes have been so highly requested ever since we launched Hollow Taco, so I'm so excited that they are finally here. They're available right meow at hollowtaco.com, or you can find the link down below in the video description box. Menchi, the cat, is a twinkling, baby pink holographic glitter polish that is as sparkling as her sweet personality and as pink as her nose. And then we got Xyler the cat, a rich rusted orange holographic glitter polish. It has moody fall pumpkin spice vibes, just like Xyler's temperamental catitude. And together, they make a kitty cat. <laughs> This is why you need to get both. <laughs> both of these polishes are made in Hollow Taco's full coverage Hollow Glitter formula, which we first developed for the last holiday collection. So you know they are jam packed with three different sizes of Hollow Glitters to get you that full maximum coverage. I'll take you guys through all the sparkling close ups later, so make sure you stay to the end of the video for that. And the best part of this new launch is to show some love to other animals and not just my own. A portion of the proceeds of the sale of Menchie and Xyler polishes will be donated to to PetSmart Charities. PetSmart partners with shelters across North America to help more than 600,000 pets find homes each year, including our cat Menchie, who we actually adopted from a PetSmart about seven years ago here in Ottawa. As you guys know, I am a big fan of supporting animal-related causes, so I am so happy to do some more animal charity work this year, but this time through your support of Hollow Taco and Menchie and Xyler's Hollow Polishes. I've put more information in the description box down below. It feels good. Paint your nails, be the Menchi or the Xyler, and help support an animal charity. So, thank you guys. Also, we just restocked the Rainbow Linear Hollow Polishes. And believe it or not, summer is in fact almost over. So go grab some Rainbow Hollows and enjoy some rainbow vibes while you still can. All right, now to celebrate my kitties getting their very own Hollow Taco Polish, I wanna give you guys the kind of cat video that the internet deserves right now. How many bottles of nail polish can my cats jump over? Another important life question I need to know the answer to. I've seen a few videos on TikTok and YouTube of cats jumping over things or going through obstacle courses, but I don't think I've ever seen anyone have their cats try and jump over bottles of nail polish. It'll take simply nail logical to do that. <laughs> now I do wanna say your pets aren't circus animals and it's not always fair to make your cats or your pets do things just for likes on the internet. So I'm not gonna force my cats to do anything they don't want to do. I'm just gonna play with them and see if they're even interested in doing this at all because they are are the boss of me. Let's go build the nail polish wall. So how am I gonna pull this off? I realized that it would take way too much nail polish to fill the length of this hallway. So I've narrowed the space by using these two soundboards behind me. So my cats must be extra skilled to jump within this narrow little window here. I've got 40 Xyler the Cat Hollows and 40 Menchie the Cat Hollows. So if they sell out, uh, you can blame me. <laughs> now in a perfect world, I would be stacking the nail polishes individually in their cartons from the bottom to the top, but they don't really stand up that well. I guess that's not really gonna work. So for stability purposes, we're gonna use some old Hollow Taco collection boxes because I can stack these pretty comfortably without them falling over just to give our wall some height. And then maybe on top, we'll throw some nail polish. How many collection boxes can my cats jump over? <laughs> All right, let's stack. <gasps> There's a cat here. Menchie, I'm not ready for you. You gonna help me build? Excuse me, ma'am, sorry, we're building a bridge. Right now, she has no reason to jump over the wall because there are no T-R-E-A-T-S. Ah. Oh, you're gonna be a good jumping kitty. Don't be mad, okay? Don't be jealous. You each have your own hollow. <laughs> All right, man, so you're gonna jump from the other side of the bridge, okay? So I'm gonna pass you over to daddy. Right, Here we go. Bitch. Don't knock the wall. Menchie! Menchie, no, the, the treats are this way. Menchie! Jump! 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 Menchie! Menchie, you're smarter than this. Hey, you little sneak. Menchie, no, wrong way. Hey, 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 Menchie! Jesus Christ. 
nice. You guys want people to think that cats are better than dogs with this kind of behavior? I don't think so. I'm gonna make it harder for you guys to push it down by putting the collection boxes sideways. You shall not pass. All right, kids, round two. You gotta go to that side, though. Dad? Dad, come pick up the kids after it's soccer practice. Right. Come here, you little rascal. Wow! I scared him. I scared him. Tyler, I'm sorry. Here you go. That was so good. Good boy. Oh yeah, you he's looking as hollow now. Hey, don't bite it! What the f man? That was so good. Do you think your sister can do that? I don't know. Benji's been left behind. Let's see if she can make it out alive. Benji! Your sister has to go down a level because she's shorter than you. It's only fair. If this was America and Ninja Warrior, that's what we would do for, for the shorter ladies, right? Jump! Look! Surely you guys know you can jump over this height. Like, it's not that hard. I've seen you jump on the kitchen counters, okay? You don't think I'm looking, but I've seen you. Hey! I want to see Zyler catch a treat directly in his mouth. Ready? Okay, I'm starting to feel bad for Menchi, so I'm just gonna give her an easy one. Menchi! No! 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 Thing. She's so good at jumping. We'll find her at like the top of our closet sometime. She's like too scared to jump over like this high. I don't know. I think she's just a little camera shy. You know, it's performance anxiety. I'm sure that's what it is. Well, Zyler seems into it. You want to see how many he would jump over? Yeah. <laughs> how many would he jump over for this entire box of treats? All right. Can you jump over this? scared of me again because I screamed. <laughs> Here you go. Good boy. You've won the spot at Cirque du Soleil. You on the other hand, you're gonna have to work in wardrobe. <laughs> All right, so Zyler was able to jump over over two feet of boxes. That's pretty good, but I've definitely seen him jump higher. <laughs> you're in your pumpkin pancake lazy mood today, huh? Zyler's attitude is kind of like when you come up to a traffic stop and it turns amber and you're just not sure if you want to go yet, so you hesitate. <laughs> well, I guess I've concluded that, that my cats can't jump over many nail polishes, even if the nail polish is named after them. <laughs> but I love my cats no matter how many nail polishes they can jump over, so. Here you go, sweetie. Now who wants some good old close-ups of Menchie and Zyler? The nail polishes, not the cats. I'm not mad I couldn't stack these boxes properly because the cats would have probably knocked them over and ruined them. And why would you want to ruin boxes that look so cool? I love how these special boxes for the cats turned out. They will fit right in with all your other Holo Taco boxes, but they have two special feline features a cat ear cutout, and a hollow half cat shape on the side that lines up when you put both cat boxes together. This is what we call a perfect pair. And yes, I am not colorblind. I realize that these two colors together aren't really the best match. They are intended to be worn separately depending on what mood you're in. So let's take them one at a time. First up, let's get in real close with Xyler the cat. He's a rich, rusted orange hollow polish that you could also describe as a dark amber or even a pumpkin spice color, which I think is just perfect for the upcoming fall season. And Halloween, of course. 
Just like the holiday glitters, this formula has three different sizes of hollow glitters to give it more coverage on the nail as the different sizes of glitter fill in the gaps better. And if you look closely, you'll see some copper hollow glitters in there, which gives it more depth and dimension and is just more interesting than just silver hollows. I recommend building up these polishes in opacity using thin coats for a total of two to three coats. You can sponge it on if you want, but you don't have to with this formula. And I do have a tutorial on the Holo Taco channel for how to apply glitter polish perfectly with the brush and get that super packed and glossy finish look if you want to check that out for some tips, I've put the link down below. And as with any holographic polish, the rainbows are best seen in direct sunlight or under an iPhone flash. So take that kitty outside, but don't forget the cat hardness. Next up, we got Menchie the cat, my second child. True to her sweet, innocent personality because she is a big baby, her polish is baby pink hollow that has both silver hollow and pink hollow glitters inside to give it extra dimensional sparkle. Because she's a lighter shade than Xyler, I suggest building her up in three thin coats. I'll be honest, I am not typically a pink kind of person, but there is just something about this light, whimsical, soft pink hollow that just sparkles in so many rainbows, it just like takes me places, you know? Don't forget to take this one out into the sun to see her sparkle at her best rainbow potential. And check this out. Here's one thin coat of Menchie and Xyler over one coat black for a totally different galaxy look. And I find over black like this, you can really see the composition of the glitters in the polish and how they each have their own colored hollow glitters, which I think makes the polishes extra unique. Now let's take a quick look comparing the new cast hollows to existing hollow taco polishes. Here they are with Play Rosé in the middle, which I would describe as somewhere in between the new Menchie and Xyler shades. Orange Drink is a brighter, more tangerine hollow than Xyler the Cat, and is of course a linear holographic formula, which is a smoother, very different formula than hollow glitter. And we got Party Punch, which is clearly way brighter and pinker than Menchie the Cat, so you can see how Menchie is truly a light, cool-toned, baby pink hollow, especially compared with Play Rosé which has more rose gold, warmer undertones than Menchi. And some of you may recall my cats once had a collaboration shade with another company several years ago, and I will say that these two polishes that we made with Holo Taco are not dupes of those. They are new formulations made in the Holo Taco Holo Glitter formula, which is different than any of my past collaboration shades. And as far as removal, as with any glitter polish, I personally like to use Peely Base as a base coat first, so I can easily pop off the glitter Peely like a dried shell when it's time for a change. No nail polish remover required. If you would like it to last longer, of course, then I recommend using a regular base coat. If you're looking for some tips on how to make your Peelys last longer, you can watch this video, which is also on the Holo Taco channel. I hope you guys love the new Menti and Xyler hollows. They are not limited edition because, hey, I wanna keep my kids around. But of course, our stock, like cat treats, is not endless, ma'am. So if you want yours, be sure to pick them up at the link down below. You wanna lick a Xyler or lick a Menchie? Pick your favorite. Wait, no, don't do that. I'm the worst mother ever. Please do not pick a favorite. Get both of them because I love my kids equally. Thank you guys so much for all your support and I can't wait to see my cats on your nails. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye.